Hi, my name is Kaylin Womack and I'm a staff writer at The Root. This weekend, I'm taking you to Little Rock, Arkansas to explore the story of Ruby Bridges on this episode of Small Town Horrors. Brown v. Board of Education was passed just a few days before Bridges was born. The new federal law ruled segregated schools were unconstitutional. However, states continued to practice separating white students from black students anyway. If a black family tried to enroll their child in a white school, violent protests erupted. In 1959, Bridges' parents considered sending her to integrate William France Elementary School. She was six years old when she took her entrance exam, along with another five black students. Two of them decided not to enroll, and the other three were transferred to another school leaving Bridges by herself. On her first day, Bridges says she thought it was Mardi Gras because of the large crowd in the street chanting and tossing things. It was really an angry mob. Federal marshals had to escort her and her mother into the building. White parents snatched their kids from the school and teachers refused to teach her, all but one. The mob showed up for the following days, making threats to poison her, which resulted in her only eating food from home and to lynch her, which made President Eisenhower order US marshals to monitor her safety. As a result of the racial tensions, her family lost their jobs, local stores refused to let them shop, and even her grandparents lost their land for sharecropping. However, her courage went down in history as one of the most pivotal moments in the civil rights era by being the first to integrate a school in the South. We should never look at a person and judge them by the color of their skin. That's the lesson that I learned in first grade. Tune in next weekend to see which small town horror we visit next at theroot.com.